guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be taking a look at the Six Piece Finger Paints Once in a Wild collection. This collection is made up of all like really nice um, kind of jewel toned or metallic colors. They're all either shimmer or glitter or actually there's some that are kind of like a textured finish but all really sparkly. So um, I'm pretty sure that I know at least one of these is a repromote because I picked it up before in the bargain bin and some of the other ones might be as well. For me, I didn't own any of them except for the one, um, but you might notice that some of them are already um, polishes that you've had over the past years. But in any case, um, they're promoting it as new for 2015 fall. So I do think it is a nice collection for fall. They're deeper, but still um, not really blingy colors, but really sparkly and pretty. So. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. I did find them at Sally's. That's where you can find finger paints, polishes, and I think they retail if you have the beauty card for like $5.40 something. So anyway, on my lips today, I'm wearing a L'Oreal Le Matte um, little stick in She's So Matte. So it's supposed to be matte. <clears throat> like I said before about these, I don't think they're the matte, most matte thing, but they're also not uncomfortable to wear, so I like that about them. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. The one polish that I noticed that I already did have, it's called Vermilion and then Dollar Sign and then Painting. So it's this bright red orange with lots of gold shimmer going all throughout it. Really, really pretty. But if you had it already, you may not need to go ahead and pick this one up. But it is gorgeous. So let me show you. I'm going to show you two coats. is the one I have on my nails. It's kind of a slightly rosy copper metallic and it looks like this. It's called Titian Tint and I didn't get this completely um, done, you know, one and done in just one coat, but you could probably if you were really careful with your application. I'm going to go ahead and show you two though in my live application for you. So let's take a look at this lovely. So I'm going to do the one more that's just kind of more of a shimmer and then we'll save like the textured ones for the end. So the purple one in here, it looks, I think it looks really similar to a couple of other purples that they have put out, but this is called Amethyst Accent and the reason I feel like it looks similar is because it's purple, but it has like a pink and gold shimmer running throughout, which I think is something that they've done before. Um, you do need two coats on this one. It is really pretty though. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. The fact that these last three were textures was surprising to me, uh, <clears throat> just because I, I just didn't expect it, but I did like them. Um, but just so that you know, they do have that kind of grainy finish, They um, and if you really don't like that, you may not care for these. But uh, let's start out with the kind of lighter 
purple, it's kind of like a purpley mauvey color. And this is the namesake, it's called Once in a Wild. And so I did two coats of this one. You may want to top coat these if you don't really like the effect of a texture polish, but in any case, it is also very shimmering. So let's see how this applies. Okay, so they gave us a gorgeous sapphire blue and it's called Amazon Sky. And it looks like this here. My bottle was actually super separated when I picked it up in the store and I noticed that all the blues were. I don't know if that's because these are older polishes and they're just re-promoting them. I don't know what's up with that, but um, it's really, really pretty. So let's see how she applies. Next up is a very, very dark emerald green and it's called Exotic Emerald. This looks very deep on the nail, um, definitely another two-coater, textured again. So let's see how it applies. I didn't notice any problems with um, staining on this, so that was nice at least. But um, yeah, let's take a look at it. I hope that if you had been looking at this collection and wondering what these were going to be like, um, I hope that you found this review helpful, certainly if you didn't know that some of these were going to be textured. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the whole collection. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today, and if you enjoyed this video, you can, as always, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you back next time. You guys have a really great day. Bye!